Okay. Where will you have the funeral? Do you know? Houston. In Houston? Yeah. All right. This and if I can help you out with the funeral, I'll help, I'll help you out. You. I'll help you out. Financially, I'll help you. This meeting between then-President Donald Trump and the family of murdered Army soldier Vanessa Guillen, a 20-year-old who was killed at Fort Hood by a fellow soldier, took place at the White House in July of 2020. A new report from The Atlantic says the funeral bill came to the White House months later. Trump had promised to pay during the meeting. I think the military may be paying, taking care of it. Good. They'll do a military. That's good. If you need help, I'll help you out. The Atlantic's report claims the funeral bill for $60,000 was sent to the White House, to which Trump allegedly replied, it doesn't cost 60000 bucks to bury a expletive Mexican. The Guillen family's attorney posted that Atlantic editor-in-chief Jeffrey Goldberg lied in his sensational story. Guillen's sister posted that the article exploited her sister's death and that she voted early for the former president. Former White House officials, including Mark Meadows, denied Trump made the comment. The writer cited contemporaneous notes and sources as he shrugged off the denials when he was asked about it. I don't make much of them at all. The, 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 the sister wasn't in the meeting. Uh, the lawyer for the family wasn't in the meeting. Mark Meadows was in the meeting. Cash Patel was in the meeting. A whole bunch of other senior officials were in the meeting. I have sources who are sitting in that meeting. Some conservatives question the report's timing. This is based on four anonymous sources, mm -hmm. two weeks before an election, 100%. disputed by people on the record, and yet it led a CBS News broadcast. What a shame. While others on Team Trump pointed out the owner of the Atlantic, Lorene Powell Jobs, is a Kamala Harris supporter. Reporting in Washington, I'm Matt Gelka.